Hello everyone, Dilla Kitsu, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ambled, and we are actually now on the last facility of the Battle Frontier Island, that is the Battle Tower. No matter, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that the Battle Tower does sit at the north centered part of the island. This is going to be a feature like a 3v3 uh, single player or, or 4v4. Uh, sorry that I actually muted. I need to go ahead and let you guys know that I have been reading a guide for each for each facility of the Battle Frontier because the Battle Frontier Allen is a big ass Allen that it can be a little bit of a maze to figure out where to go. Um, this is actually is going to be the last episode of the Pokemon Ember journey uh, before we actually do move on to the next Pokemon game that I probably will decided to do is probably going to be Colosseum or uh, the God of Darkness. Uh, before we actually go back into like the main games, it's probably going to be Fire Red, um, actually. And then before we actually do start up Gen 4. Uh, but the Battle Tower is the last thing that we will be doing in Pokemon Emerald. That plus we pretty much have done pretty much everything no matter... I know some of you are probably saying that yeah, we could do the Trick Houses. Um, I am not going to be doing the trick houses. No matter, we could, but I mean, not going to. Uh, it's just going to extend the um, series about like by to like uh, episode fifty, actually, if we actually did. Um, but we are definitely on that. Uh, if you guys want to, we can, but we we definitely won't actually. But the Battle Tower is pretty much, I'll just go ahead and say that the Battle Tower does stand on the northern central part of the island. It's not that hard to find actually because it sits like wide in the top center. Uh, it fixes a 3v3 single or a 4v4 double format. Um, each one can stand with 7 opponents trainers who increases in difficulties as a challenger progresses. Uh, upon completing five or ten runs through the town, the boss or the leader of the battle tower and the bell will appear to challenge you and the battle to defeat her to earn the ability symbol. Uh, I feel like the only facility that we have completed a whole challenge is the palace, actually. But for the people that doesn't know that we just get in the fields, we're not trying to beat each challenge because if we decided to do beat each uh, challenge we probably could be here a whole lot longer than we are actually and plus the episode's gonna be a whole lot more longer too so i don't want to take you guys time to watch like an hour plus uh, episode just to try to beat a facility challenge actually but this is gonna be the last challenge that we will be doing actually so the bow tower here we go we've been more luck with the Ooh. Damn, well I, I okay so this has to be single double Fina has to be the 4v4 and this has to be the 3v3 I didn't realize it's gonna be more um resistance this year. But because it only said 3v3 and 4v4, so I guess this be some I think this is the 3v4 and that has to be the 3v3s like here, but we're gonna be doing the singles because I like the single battles more than the double battles. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. There's nothing wrong with double battles no matter we have done it throughout the journey. Uh, but it's more... It's more easier, just to be honest. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys that now. We're gonna be doing the single battles here. Well, the talents of the trainers are put to the test. Welcome to the Battle Tower. 
that is plus the last challenge that we need to go through actually that we gonna try to attempt I am your guide of the single battle rooms would you like to take on the single battle room challenge yes I do but let's go ahead and read the info the battle towered single battle rooms are facilities on conducting single battles with the Pokemon uh, there are many single battle rooms in the battle tower for team battles uh, each of the single battle rooms, seven trainers awaits your challenge. Okay, so pretty much seven challenges or seven opponents, pretty much. Uh, if you manage to defeat all seven, you will be honored battle points. Uh, if you want to interrupt your challenge, please save the game. If you don't save your interrupting, you will be disqualified. Yeah, 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 we do know that. But go ahead and start up the challenge. Uh, the battle room. Of um, offers two levels of the talents, the level 50 and the open levels. We're going to do the level 50s because we have been more luck with that. Uh, now, please select the three Pokemon that you are want to enter. We are going to do a main three. That is Swampit, Archelia, and Agron. Before entering a Pokemon room, you, you must... Uh, progress must be saved. Is that okay? Yes, we're gonna go ahead and save it. Literally 50 hours and 32 minutes. Doesn't feel like we've been with 30 minutes since the last time we did uh, that second wave of the pyramid and back in the last episode, actually. I will now show you to the single battle. Seven opponents, it shouldn't be that bad. Elevator. Beautiful. Ooh, we got a picnicker? I- or a ranger. Who knows? I am totally ready to walk today. Oh. Here we go, guys. The startup of the next... The last challenge. We got a camper. Chen wants to battle. We got a wine horn. Okay, so it looks like we are starting up. Um, I'm pretty solid with wine hunts for the start because we do have shopping in the lead, but we're gonna go ahead and dive here. We can't use items no matter, it was kind of weird that the pillman that we could use items in the pillman, but we probably won't be able to use items here. That, in that dive, it's gonna be a one side on that wine horn. Got a Penepi. Dive again because Penampi is a being Penampi is well, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's normal, but Shrumpet is gonna use dive, it was super effective. Penampi is gonna use, I think it's ground, I believe. I may actually have to check uh, the Pokedex on my phone, my quick. Pudnappy is a Gen 2 Pokemon, I would say. Uh, let me see if I can actually find it right quick. Here it is. It is ground. Okay. Pudnappy is fainted. Again, Onyx. Okay, so pretty much it's all walking ground types in this. Well, there's some, uh, close opponent here. Uh, we're gonna use Soft and that will faint onyx. That's really like the only onyx we have, we have seen. We haven't seen a Stilix. That is something we haven't seen since Crystal actually. But thank you opponent one Shan for the battle. I lost my focus energy and toughness. Alright there goes opponent one. We will restore your Pokemon to full health. You will be facing opponent number two. Are you ready? Yes, let's go on. Get a oil oh, lady here. I think I am supping too much. Hey, look, lady. There's nothing wrong about supping too much. You always got to have. That is not nice. a um, oil oh, lady. That is a poor soul lady. Junina wants to battle. Hey, look. There's nothing wrong about supping. Um, you can all. You always need to do a little bit of some soppy therapy, actually. Gotta love this kid. Um, we're just gonna go and swap out to Archelia. And see what Archelia can do. Trumpet did really... Ooh. 
Oh, this is gonna use dive here. Like, we're gonna fly. Uh, Doublet is gonna use dive. It's gonna hit it first, so Artillery is gonna fly up. <laughs> and I feel like this is some days of blue right now. You know what? It's good. Let's swap it to swamp it. This is gonna use dive here. We should use dive ourselves. Love this is gonna use rain vents. It started to rain. We're gonna dive ourselves now that Love this has been diving. I bet Love this is probably gonna dive here. It definitely will. And here's the thing my shop won't be able to hit anything because Love this is underwater actually. Love this is gonna use dive. You better not dive again, love this. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that now. I love this is gonna use three kills for attack miss and Trump is gonna use dive. We finally got a first hit. Oh, that's not really gonna do a whole lot of damage, but that's fine. Let's use surf. I always forget that surf is really good. When a Pokemon is on the water, I forgot about that technique back in the palace actually. That I did not know that was actually what's possible. Uh, maybe he actually did manage to go through palace actually. That's actually is a, a W technique actually. That is actually is a pro tip, but I actually may need to whip down actually. If a Pokemon dive down, I don't think dive is in file red or in... I know it's not in platinum. Um, because I played platinum so many damn times. Uh, but... I don't know if it's in file red. I don't think it is though, but I haven't really played file red that much. I have played it in the past, but I just... It's just like a faint memory that I remember playing it, but there's moments I just don't remember. Uh, we got a spill here. Uh, we're gonna dive. Spill is water iced, is it? Uh, spill is gonna be here. Shop is gonna use dive here. Having Agron is gonna be a Okay, so pretty much we had all light type, rock types in the first opponent, so it looks like we're just gonna have all water types here on the, this opponent. We are gonna swap out to Artillia. I swear we was about to use Blood Slap, but Blood Slap does not affect uh, Artillia. I'm sure it's gonna get played by hell. We're gonna use fly. Spell was gonna use ice ball, but attack miss. Hell continues to fall. I chose get played by heal. I'm sure it's gonna use fly. Alright, there goes ice ball from spear. That will be super effective. Hell have stopped. Uh, let's go and use a fire blast. It's not gonna do. It's gonna attack mist. Spill is gonna use ice ball again, but attack mist. Let's just fire blast again. It's probably not gonna be really effective. Uh, um, Spill just fainted. Uh, I'll chill ya. Okay. Uh, Act one. This is really. It's, it's really sketchy to have Agron out, but we can use Earthquake. Pretty sure Agron can bring us back, actually. And Spill just painted. We got one more Pokemon that is a Penappy. We're gonna Earthquake this Penappy here. Doesn't really do anything. Penapi is gonna use Rock Tomb. Uh, that is gonna drop Agmon's speed. This is gonna be risky too because the Swamp is so low level, but I have an idea that we can probably can be able to hit a 
And now I'm just gonna use Sandstorm. That is, uh, that can be really effective for um, any of our um, artillery, though. But we're gonna use Soft. Let's see if we can fake this Panabi. And it does. It was super effective. We. Not really, we did struggle in that battle, but we didn't like struggle, struggle. But we did manage to beat opponent number two. I still wanted another Pokemon plus it all. I'm pretty sure probably will get one soon. Poor Sal. We will store your Pokemon for full health. So thank you. Are you ready to face opponent number three? Yes, we are. So pretty much that was all water. Well, two water types and one ground type. Let's see what opponent number three is going to be all about. The gourmet thing is so yesterday. Got a lady here. Getting in once the battle. You got a bubble sword. I think Agwan is going to be really good on this one because Trumpet's not really going to do anything crazy on bubble sword because bubble sword is a grass type. A bubble sword is gonna use Razor Leaf. I'm surprised I actually did a uh, much damage that like it did at so bad. Add one, we're gonna use Earthquake. Bubble sword is gonna use Sleep Powder to attack Mist. Use Earthquake again. I think I'll chill. Oh yeah, I forgot I'll chill. He does have Fly. What in the heck am I thinking? Yeah, Bubble Sword will faint at one. I forgot about Fly from Artillery. Lord Jesus. Oh, he's just Fly. In that place we do. I, I forgot that. Oh Jesus, where am I at right now? I wasn't thinking on that, but okay. I don't know why at one was going to be a really good effect. I always forget Artillery has Fly and Foul Blast. Duh. Get a Nacho. Uh, you're gonna use Dragon Breath on you. Nacho's gonna use a Future Sight. It's gonna force all an attack. We're gonna use Fly. Nacho's gonna use Confused Wave, but attack missed. Matilda's gonna use Fly. We're so close. Nacho's gonna use Confused Way That will. Artillery. Yeah, Artillery took the future side attack. Come on, Artillery. We see you say now fly here. Don't hurt yourself with confusion. And then you're gonna hurt yourself with confusion. Okay, I like how I say it and it happens. Alright, now that's just gonna future side a in attack. Chili is confused, can we snap that out of confusion? Alright, so Chili is gonna fly up high. Nacho wants to use a Night Saber attack, means Chili is confused. And Chili is gonna hit Nacho with the fly, and that does faint Nacho. We're gonna get a Drowsy. Chili is gonna take that future side attack. Let's use... It's just Fire Blast. Material just snapped out of confusion. That's a W. A Fire Blast attack missed. Drowsy is going to use Barrier. That's going to boost up Drowsy's uh, defense. I uh, boosted up sharply. Uh, it's just Fire Blast again. And that attack missed. Uh, Barrier again on Drowsy. That's going to boost up Drowsy's defense. Uh, Fire Blast is not really doing anything for us right now, but we're going to use Fly. Drowsy is going to use the Headbutt attack missed. Until it's going to use Fly. Alright, here goes Headbutt again on with Drowsy. We're going to use the Dragon Breath. Drowsy is going to Headbutt Artillery and that does faint Artillery. Alright, Act 1 and Artillery is down. We got only got Swamp it left. Literally our last Pokemon for each challenger. For me and opponent number three. We're gonna dive down here. Drowsy is gonna use Confusion, but attack miss. 
jump is just gonna use dive. Alright, Drowsy's just gonna use the confusion. Drowsy has a berry on it. Have a citrus berry. It's gonna boost up its health. It's use of I think we need to use Watchmaster Kit to see if we can be able to get lucky to drop Drowsy says defense actually. To get lucky. It's not really effective. Does it drop its defense? It definitely does. And Drowsy is going to use Confusing again. No matter, Watchman didn't do shit, but it did drop its defense. But we're going to use soft. And I think that Watchman did help us a little bit to be able to use sub to fade Drowsy here to win Disappointed, actually. Losing doesn't disappoint me. We are moving on, actually. We will restore your Pokemon to full health. I really do appreciate that. Are you ready for facing opponent number four? Yes, I am. Well, is that I smell? I know who this is. This is a Oreo lady. This is the same text from Oh your lady Jenna was about this. This is the same one from the last episode. And then this Okay, we got a uh Lumbri here. We are gonna dive here. Lumbri is a grass water. Lumbri is gonna use a sword but attack mist. Trump is gonna use dive that's not really gonna be really effective. Yeah. Uh, right now, our main three Pokemon is, is doing pretty good right now. Lumbi's gonna use Zorb. It's not really effective on Tilly. It literally drop a Tilly's health by like one point, but we can just fly. Lumbi's gonna use a Wallop Pose for attack mist. Tilly's gonna use fly. That is going to be a one side. Super effective. Lumbry just fainted. Got a mini teeny. Let's just fly. Mini teeny is going to meditate. It's going to boost up its attack. Atelier is going to just fly. Oof. So close to being one side. But it means it's gonna use meditate again. It's gonna boost up its attack. But we're gonna use fly one more time. Mintine wants to use a high jump kick, but attack miss. And Mintine's came crashing down and just gonna take the damage from crashing down. It's gonna faint it, but that it is a uh, risky Pokemon to have out right now because Atiro is gonna use fly on it. It was gonna be super effective. Bubasaur is going to use Sweet Scent. It's going to drop um, Atelier Vesemus, but we're going to use a Fire Blast here on this Bubasaur. For a second, I thought Fly was going to one slot Bubasaur, but it was super effective. But Bubasaur fainted and we just defeat opponent number four. It's your offensive stint, that's right. Think of Actually, we are moving on. Actually, opponent number five. We only got three opponents left. I am never going to lose. I'm actually kind of curious if we ever gonna beat all seven opponents. Actually, we got a youngster. Brady wants to battle. We got a Feebas. I be actually kind of badass if we actually do pull off all seven of them actually because it was kind of badass when until you slump it in Agron beat it all seven opponents back in the battle powers actually if you haven't watched that episode play this is down in the description uh, we are going to Feebas is an interesting typing, to be honest. 
That is going to be a critical hit, but it's not really effective. If he wants to use Mel Coat. Oof. Oof. Holy shit, Mel Coat does a lot of damage. But we're going to use Soap again, and that we're going to faint Feebas here. Fate is going to bring out a Hoot Hoot. Gonna soft this Hoot Hoot. Who's gonna be confusing that will faint strongly? It's kind of really like they did. Game Freak didn't really do a whole lot of owl type Pokemon. It's like Hootoo is a Gen 2 Pokemon. The only Manx owl Pokemon that they managed to do is Wowlet, and that's to like uh, Sun and Moon. How many generations is that from now? Because Gen 1 was Pokemon Yellow and Red and Blue. Gen 2 was uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Gen 3 is Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Gen 4 is po um, Pearl, Platinum, and Diamond. Or Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I know I messed that up. Uh, Gen 5, no matter, there are two games in Gen 5 with Black and White and Black and White 2. Gen 6 with X and Y. Gen 7 was. Um, I, I, for some reason, I'm thinking of Omega Ruby or Apple Sapphire, but that is a remake. Yeah, it has to be um, Ultra Sun and Moon. And Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon is the same game, but Ultra Sun and Moon just happened. Gen 8, it was Sword and Seal, and Gen 9, it was uh, Scarlet and Violet. No matter, we do have the remakes too. Like, Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, Heart Goat and Soul Silver. Brilliant Diamond Pool, you do got uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, that's pretty much like the remakes of. Uh, Pokemon Yellow, pretty much. If you just, just like, if you got Let's Go Eevee, you're just gonna get Eevee. If you got Let's Go Pikachu, you're just gonna get Pikachu. They're always talking about they are planning on uh, doing a remake for Pokemon Black and White. And who knows what they actually gonna do? I think they're probably gonna do more um, remakes for the older games now than making newer ones because I feel like they're probably losing ideas uh, to be honest because some of the Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet was really interesting actually. I mean there are cool designs but I feel like they're starting to lose ideas actually. Uh, we just managed to beat opponent number 5 here. Uh, no matter, we didn't really pay attention to all of the batteries though, but just trying to figure out uh, each generation to be honest. And thank you for healing up my Pokemon actually. We only got two opponents left. Opponent number 6, come on down. We got a tuber here. Teach me a good strategy. I was making sure I wasn't, um, mistaken on the each generation though. Got a mini teeny here. We're gonna solve this mini teeny. Mini teeny is gonna use Manatee, it's gonna boost up its attack. We're gonna solve mini teeny again. That will faint mini teeny. Why not? I think we're supposed to get an egg from of uh why not actually, but I'm surprised we didn't get it though. But why not is pretty much the baby form of mobile fan and for the people that doesn't really know. Um we're gonna soft you. I think you are a lot of time. I'm not gonna use it. So why not is gonna use Bell coat? Oh boy. We're gonna surf right now again. I think we need to swap out to Atelier 
Uh, why not gonna use another mail code that will faint trumpet? I just mean the stupid is all tied up now. Uh, we are going to use fly on this why not here. They mail cut, but well, I know I'm just gonna use mail cut, but it failed. It's used a fire blast, no it's not gonna do a crazy amount of damage, but it should faint this why not. And it does faint it. Why not is fainted. Got one more Pokemon left. That is a Whopper. Uh, let's use Fly on this Whopper here. It's more. Opponents have been it's more tanky type Pokemon because Wapo can be it can be a little tanky. I feel like Fly Pie is gonna gonna be the way to go actually. My uh, Wapo's gonna use a water pose. It's not really really effective. I'm gonna just fly again. Fly. Wapper's gonna use Yawn. The Wapper's make uh, Octelia drowsy. We need to make sure we actually faint this Wapper before it decides to. Octelia to, decides to go to sleep, actually. And we just fly before Octelia does fall asleep. Wapper's gonna use Yawn again, but it fell. The rain stopped. And Octelia just fell asleep. Damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and drop out to Agron. So we can just both click this Whopper here and get on to the last opponent. Whopper's gonna use a Water Pose. It was super effective. Let's go ahead and both click this Whopper here. And there goes Whopper. Thank you, opponent number six. Wow, that is an awesome strategy. We got one more opponent. We will restore your Pokemon to full health. We are going to be facing the last opponent. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Dude, we got a... I want to say this is, has to be an expert. 100%. Every battle has a smell. I bet this is probably an expert. 100%. It is an expert. Evan wants to battle. You got a war turtle. I think whenever we do get into Fire Wet, I probably will use Squiddle. Because it's always best to have a water type for the beginning, and we probably just. I'm probably going to do like a different change up. Like a different. Um, like a did yellow, actually. Then my pie will kind of have like the same similar episodes, actually, from Pokemon Yellow, but Pikachu, we won't have Pikachu though. But we will have at least like a water type because I don't really want to struggle with the first gym. I will try to just gonna use a water post. We're gonna use a dive. I think we could have swap out to uh, Artelia, but I will try to just gonna use water pose again. But attack miss. We're gonna use dive. It's not really effective. Yeah, we're totally just gonna use bite that will faint, swamp it. Uh, Expert's gonna take the first Pokemon out. I'm gonna bring out Atelia here. Atelia can do. We can use Fly. I think Fly is more like a Venice type move because it's. No matter it's a two time move though, but. Oh, wait. Water is gonna use Yawn. How lovely is this? Which was gonna use Yonk again, but it failed, and Artillery will hit that sleep in. Damn it. I'm just being out at one. I can't believe we are literally on the last opponent, actually. Which was gonna use Bite, it's not really effective. I at one. Let's earthquake this World Tournament. I World Tournament is gonna use Wall Post. And that will thing add one. Okay, so the only Pokemon we got left is Otilia. Oh, lovely. How lovely is this? Literally on the last a 
opponent and we are struggling. Oh, um, Attila woke up. Somehow I did. Um, Wotor is paralyzed. But uh, Wotor is gonna use Yawn. I think I just had to swap it out, but we will get rid of Wotor here. I, um, Attila, we just need to hold off. Heaven here. No matter you will go to sleep. We got a, a pub tar. We're gonna use Fire Blast, but Attila, you need to wake up. Pepitor is gonna use Bite. Come on, Attila. Pepitor is gonna use Bite again. Attila just woke up W. We're gonna use Fire Blast, but Attack missed. Pepitor is gonna use another Bite. Attila Flint, that is not good. Pepitor is gonna use another Bite. Attila is gonna use. What are you doing, Attila? Why are you not hitting the Fire Blast? Alright, we're gonna use Fly then. Damn, dude. What is up with Fire Blast right now? That's not gonna be really effective. Uh, Puppetor is gonna use Sandstorm, the Sandstorm Bloon. Atelier is gonna use Fire Blast as we hit this time. That's a W. I feel like we are in a bit of a trouble. No matter, we already in trouble and look like any of Atelier moves is not gonna do any type of damage. Uh, Puppetor is gonna use Bite. Dragon Breath. Uh, well, Peppertor is paralyzed, but that's not gonna, really gonna help us too much. Peppertor's gonna get buffed by the Sunstorm. It's just Dragon Breath. And doesn't even faint it, Will. And it was a good fight, actually. GG. GG. Oh, the sweet scent of victory. It's a bit disappointing that we did end this episode on a loss on that last opponent, but GG's on the on that um, last opponent battle actually. Thank you for playing. You record will be safe. Please wait. Tell to record your last battle tower match on your uh, your frontier. Sure, why not? Why not? We're looking forward to seeing you upon your next challenge. I definitely will, but we are done here. No matter, I, that was a little bit disappointing that we did lost the last opponent. Um, actually, mostly on the last episode too. I am actually looking for the Pokemon Center actually, but I'm probably want to go and go ahead and end this episode here. We are completely done with everything that I wanted to do here in Pokemon Emerald, actually. No matter, I don't know what the next Pokemon series is probably gonna be. It's probably gonna be Colosseum. No matter, I haven't played Colosseum before. But the people that want to know, I am playing on releasing games that I never played before, actually. No matter, I did played uh, Code Veronica um, for the first time and that's like the only Resident Evil game I haven't played actually no matter I could have played it back in uh, 2021 but I didn't have the access for it but now I had gotten access to it uh, earlier this year and luckily I did manage to play it uh, before uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake did but I'm gonna go ahead and end this last episode of Pokemon Emerald here. Hope you guys did enjoy this series. If you guys are liking this series so far, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also ding on the bell. I will see you guys in the next series. I may actually do Coliseum for the next Pokemon um, series, actually. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I see you guys in the next Pokemon series or the next one. Peace, guys.